Hi, I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast, and today we're at HVAC School Headquarters, and we're going to be talking about the KPU-19, which is a mechanical refrigeration control made by Danfoss. We're going to go through some of the features of the control, as well as, in general, how these types of controls work. So first, let's unbox this. So we're going to take it apart. So we got to be really careful when you're working with a control like this because it has a refrigerant-filled bulb. And if you crack this bulb, then you render the thing useless. Um, so you gotta be really careful when pulling it out. Just make sure you're not gonna damage it. All right, so there we go. This is our Danfoss KPU-19 control. This is our bulb that senses the temperature. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that while the majority of the volume is inside this bulb here, this entire tube is going to slightly affect the temperature that it's measuring. So you wanna consider that based on where you're routing this tubing. You don't want this tubing routed in a really, really hot location, otherwise that will affect the reading of the thermostat. You're able to get a lot of really interesting information just off of reading the box. And actually, this is one of the things that I recommend to new technicians. Look through to see if there's a spec sheet in it and then just read the box itself. So it's a temperature control, it's a thermostat. The range is negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You have a differential, um, a minimum differential of plus 3.6 and a maximum of plus 14.6. And then this is an 120 inch capillary tube and this contact type is SPDT, which means single pole, double throw, which means it only has one pole that shifts in between both sides, but it can uh, either be open or closed depending on whether or not the, uh, the switch is above or below its target temperature. Before we go any further, let's go through the manual. So a lot, it has a lot of benefits to it, um, easy to use, very durable design. Now you've got three different KPU-19s. You've got one that is a single pole double throw, which this is the one that we've got here, where it has two different terminals on it, uh, where it can, where it makes or breaks in either direction. And then we have another version, which is a single pole single throw, which means that it's just open or closed. And this would be sort of your traditional, a very simple value uh, refrigeration control type. So this is a, just a close on a rise in temperature, which is what you want for refrigeration or you know cooling type application. And you've got the third one, which does not have a bulb. It just has just a tube. And so it's, it's designed for uh, measuring temperature in a room or the air on a coil. It's not meant to be mounted to anything. So you're not, you're not supposed to mount that to the coil itself. Whereas the bulb version you can mount uh, in the box or you can also mount it to some, some copper tubing to the coil itself. Uh, it comes with a sensor clamp, comes with the blinding stickers, what they call it, and that's to kind of blind it off so that it can't be easily changed without somebody getting a screwdriver so your customers don't, don't monkey with it. But here's the, here's the thing I wanted to show you. The H terminal on the one we're working on, because we have this uh, single pole, the pole is the part that moves, and the throws are the two points that they connect to. Um, single pole double throw uh, design here. It is connected from C to H when you use it in a refrigeration uh, type control where you want it to shut off once it gets to temperature and because then it would drop and, and uh, break that circuit once the temperature drops. Um, the other side, the L terminal, will then make once the temperature drops. So once the temperature drops below the set point, then it will actually make to L. And then you have your um, single bowl single throw uh, open on low, which is just uh, once the temperature gets low enough, then it opens and shuts the unit off. That would be a very simple um, low temperature cutout type of thing. And then uh, could also be used as a, as a fan cycling control. All right, so here it shows the different elements of it. You've got your capillary tube. You've got your conduit rubber, which is where the, uh, the conduit can come through either through the back or through the bottom. Uh, this is the differential temperature adjustment knob, which again, the total differential is going to be double whatever you set on the knob. And then you have your, your actual temperature setting and as well as our mounting holes in the back of the, in the back of the control. So you can mount it properly um, to a flat surface, which is how it needs to be how it needs to be mounted. And, and again, this needs to be installed in a dry location. It is designed for a dry location. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. All right, so what I use is I use this ice bath, which is a really nice way of comparing your thermometer, making sure that it's with gen in general within range. Um, we're within a degree of 32 degrees here, so I feel pretty comfortable that we're measuring pretty close. So I'm gonna place this into the ice bath Trying to be pretty gentle with the with the tubing. And now the fact that it's not all in the ice bath, all the tubing's not in there means that it's going to read a little bit on the high side. So this arrow up here is actually what points to the temperature at which it changes. And now when I test it, 
I'm just going to connect one of them to common. And it really doesn't matter which one I connect to, but we'll just start by connecting it to the low temperature. You can see right now where I have it set based on the low temperature set of contacts, it will, it will be running because it's warmer than the actual set point. So now set it down. All right. Now we've gotten cold enough that now it's saying, okay, we're, we're good. We're shut off. So now at this point, it's saying that we don't need to run because the temperature of the ice bath is below the set point on this thermostat. So as soon as I roll it up, all right, now we want it to come on 40 degrees off. Now this is going to be more like what we would use for refrigeration control. So currently I have it set at 40. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off until I get down low enough. All right. Now, right at about 32 degrees, that's when it cut in, cut off at about, about 38, it's cutting in at about 32, 33 in that range, which is about exactly what we want. Now, when we adjust this differential right now, I have it set all the way at the minimum differential. So if you look right here, you can see differential and it's set at minimum. If I roll this back, that's going to greatly increase the cutout. So now let's see what we get. So now we're gonna, now it didn't cut out until 42 in that range. And now let's see where it cuts back in. All right, so now it cut in at more like 28. Cut out at about 38. So you can see that with this one, based on how it's set up right now with the bulb in the water that we've got, 32 degrees is sitting about right in the middle of that range. So you gotta, gotta set this up. You gotta, gotta make sure that you get your differential and your temperature setting exactly as you, as you see fit. And then you can use that little blank off sticker that we showed, blank this off, remove the knob, and then that way nobody can adjust it unless they take the cover off, which is a pretty nice feature. I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast, making this video in conjunction with our friends at Danfoss. Danfoss, engineering tomorrow, today. Thanks for watching.